Hey, can we have our first uh, Mackenzie and Jimmy? Yo. You, you can take a seat on the chairs. And uh, Jojo, where's... And Sokyong, where's Sokyong? Dude, you guys. You guys can be in the middle, in the, you guys be in the middle chairs. And you guys can be on the outside. Okay, so, um, are we good? All right, listen, today's class uh, is one that I've been thinking about for a while, and I wasn't really sure how we were going to put it together and bring it together, but uh, I think that we, I think, I think it's, I think I'm, I've been really looking forward to it, but I just have been waiting for the parts to come together. So, uh, let me start by, when, can you all start by introducing yourselves? <sighs> and like, you know, where you're from and that sort of thing. Uh, I'm Jojo. I'm from China. It's my second time up here. So thank you, Sam, for having Dude, me. Dude, wait, again. hang on. It's your second time up here? Yeah. Wait, hang on. Hold on a second. I love the BTS hat. That's perfect. Wait, does anybody, do we have a, a, student, a Chinese student who would want to come up? And you don't have to talk. You just have to introduce yourselves. You don't even have to talk. All you got to do is just say, Dude, n no. Who, do, who's, we, who's, who's from China who would want to come up? that you can relieve Jojo. Anybody would like to, anyone want to come? You don't have to talk. You have to just do something that'll be, that you're very good at. Anybody want to do it? Dude, bro, you want to do it? Dude, come on, man. Hey, wait, have you been up here before? Have you volunteered before? He has not. Dude, thanks, bro. You got the universal Asian no. All right, bro. Can you do me a favor? Can you let me wear your hat? Uh, yeah. Today? Yeah. Just for today? Yeah. All right, thanks, man. All right. Okay, you can take his, you can take his place. All right, I need a name. We need, G-Dog. Thanks, bro. Thanks for the, G-Dog, I need a name tag. What's your name? Uh, Virgil. What is it? Virgil. Virgil, can you, okay, introduce yourself, Virgil. Okay, go ahead, man. Hello, my name is Virgil. I'm from Hunan, China. This is my first year here. I'm majoring in computer science. Yeah? Dude, awesome, man. I'm Jimmy. Uh, I'm a sophomore here at Penn State. I'm from uh, Princeton, New Jersey, and I'm majoring in economics. Dude, hang on. And you, that's a killer haircut you have, man. Oh, thanks. My girlfriend wants me to get it cut. Like, she hates, like, long Dude, hair, so. Wait, hang on. Can you yeah. get it? Can you zoom in? Like, can you, you got him? <laughs> yeah, she doesn't like, like the back like that, so I have to get it cut, sadly, if I... No, but the front is killing it. Oh, thanks, Sam. Yeah. Wait, hang on, though. Am I the only one? Is that, like, not... Like, is he not killing it? All right, dude. Kind of, like, self-conscious now. But... No, don't be self-conscious. <laughs> oh, no, yeah it's, yeah, it's great. I've never seen any, anybody wear hair like that. You are, dude, you are... All right, go ahead. Thank you. G-Dog. Virgil needs a name tag, Virgil, because I'll forget it. Yeah. I am Mackenzie. I'm a senior majoring in communication science and disorders, and I'm from Westchester, New York, 20 minutes north of New York City. Okay. Hi, I'm Sokyun. I'm sophomore, and I major in economics and computer science, and I'm from South Korea. Are you from Seoul? Where are you from? Uh, near by Seoul, but not Seoul. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. How do you like the hat? Uh, cool. It's cool, right? All right. So um, here's what's going to happen. I'd like to have you all. Um, so the two of you said that you're, you kind of know a little bit about chopsticks, but you don't know really well. Uh, so you, can you two teach them how to use chopsticks? And I used and I brought these Korean stainless steel chopsticks that are particularly difficult. Bro, can you hold on to those? that are particularly difficult to use. I think they are, bro. For you, they're really easy. 
Do you, have you used them before, these stainless steel ones? Yeah, they're hard, right? Yeah, okay. So what, can you just teach them the best way to do it? Because we're later going to have a contest, okay? And if they, whichever one loses the contest, you, either you or you, Virgil or Sukyong, you're going to have to, well, it won't be a problem for you, but you're going to have to, huh. Hang on. You're going to have to do something, eat something that you may not want to eat. Wait, that's them, not us? Oh, no. It's us? you two. Oh. Uh-oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Whichever team it is, okay? It won't be a problem for him. It won't be a problem for you. Or you're Chinese. You're used. It's going to be a problem for us. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. So can you... Um, you guys are just going to sit over here and teach them. So you have plenty of time. We're not watching you. You can focus on them now and then and see how they're doing. Just give them the best way. All right. Um, so here's the thing. Hey, by the way, um, by the way, just keep your, because just keep your voice, like kind of keep your voices down just a little because I'm going to, it'll distract me. And remember, uh, if, even the, if I'm the slightest bit distracted, that can be a problem. Okay, so first, uh, Zion and Oscar, can the two of you come up? So one of the, you can just, you can sit on the table. So one of the, the pieces of culture There are many, a lot of different aspects of culture, but um, it's probably, and we, it's entering culture, right? Like when you, when you guys, when you look out over this room and you, you see, there are probably a 40 different, at least 40 different nations that are represented here. And even within those nations, lots of different cultures. And it's, it's so interesting that, especially like now, that we have these opportunities in this day and age, like at a place like Penn State and in a room like this, to be able to enter in and out, be, go in and out of cultures, okay? And it's like, but there are a lot of obstacles to that. So we're, we're just gonna have, a, we're gonna have a conversation about what some of those obstacles are. But first, can you introduce yourselves and where are you from? Yeah, here, hang on, hang on, hang on. Push that up all the way, dude. We, this one looks like it might be dead. Hello, hello. Oh. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Oscar. I'm from Taiwan, and I am a senior major in econ. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Zion Sykes, and I am a junior majoring in global international studies and political science. Dude, and you are the student representative in the coming year for Penn State. Yeah, the I'm the UPA president. UPUA, please the guy. So listen, man. <laughs> Bro. Anything you don't like about Penn State, this is your guy. You got a chance. You got the rest of the semester. He sits right over there, corner him, and give him a piece of your mind and tell him what really needs to happen, okay? So here's one of the things for me. Uh, language is a, is a, is a piece that's really important for entering culture. And you noted that you are studying Mandarin. You speak Mandarin. Yes, I do. So, yes. bro, we are no longer talking in English, you guys. You're going to have a conversation. You're learning Mandarin, and you are going to have a conversation in Mandarin okay. in front of all of us. And it will be preserved on camera on YouTube forever. So. Go ahead. 我在说我的中文。你中文说的很好。不好不好。你好你好。你好。你学中文多久了?多久什么?多久?多久多久?Like多久time duration. Mm. Oh oh oh. Uh, you can't speak oh. English. Oh, no English. Can't, no English. No no no. We're back. We're you know where we are. We're in like a, a. You're you're from Taiwan. We're in a mountain village in Taiwan, and you don't speak any English. Okay. And you're you just met this American guy walking down the road, and there's nothing but. Mandarin. Uh, 
哦，怎么怎么想学中文？为什么想学中文？呃，因为呃，在我的、哦、呃，在我的高学，我觉得我在我的四四我四年级呃，我觉得为什么我为为为什么不？为什么不？哦、对，然、okay. 后、呃、我我喜欢呃。那个课，所以我、oh, okay. 我呃在滨州这里大学，我我我上中文课，对，你觉得中文难吗？什么？中文很难吗？啊、呃，对，呃，我现在我在试听中文课，和我觉得特别是不呃特别是难。呃，我可以跟你说，嗯、呃，我从台湾来，我从台湾来。从台，我从台湾来。哦，你是从，我是台湾人。对，哦 ，OK， 好的，好的。然后我们最近呃，刚发生地震。我我很好朋友呃，他叫 Shayla， 他也呃是台湾，哦、台湾呃出生，台湾出生。他有来过台湾学生会吗？学生会，学生会，学生会。有。学生，学生，学生。哦哦，学生，学生，呃。他是学生在平时这里啊，学生社团，社团，社团，学生会，我不知道。Dude, no, 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 okay, okay. How, how, how is he doing? He's doing very well. Dude, you got you. You know what you got from Oscar? You got one of those like uh, Chinese. It's an Asian. It's really a Chinese thing where he responded to you with like, "Woo, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome." Dude, how, he's doing well. Very. He how are you? Very well. He speaks very well. Yeah. yeah, where'd you learn? Where have you been studying Mandarin? Uh, at high school, like one year high school, and then here. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Awesome, man. Dude, killing it. He's very, very, very accurate. Dude. Like his pronunciation. So、Thank、meaning、you. that if it doesn't work out to being a student government representative here, you can go to university in China. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, go for <laughs> it, dude. Yeah, they'll take you. They love Americans, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you can go to Taiwan, let's say. All right. So listen. Now Oscar is going to have another. He's going to ha- say some things to you, and you have to say what he's saying in English to the class. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. He's going. Th- he's going to. Yeah. So you're in, you're the interpreter. So listen up, class. All right. Good to go. Yeah. Yeah. So Taiwan, 最近地震，地震。Like D, 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 First off, let, let me just ask this: how, how do you feel? I feel okay. A little nervous. Uh huh. Okay. How do you feel about the fact that you know, like he's saying, yeah, you're doing a pretty good job. It's encouraging. I don't think my Chinese is that good, so it, it's nice to hear that. Uh huh. Yeah. So that's good then. Like that—that that means you're also taking on some of that culture. Remember, we had the conversation about East Asian cultures and people sort of downplaying their own abilities. So you, so you got that. <laughs> Because you're supposed to say, "Yeah, my Chinese is terrible." Even when he says, "No, it's really good," but you're supposed to keep saying, "Like, no, 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 it's terrible," and that's like a doorway into the culture. So,、um, what have you ever spoken Mandarin? And by the way, we say Mandarin, but when, when people talk about Chinese speaking China, Chinese as a language, what they're usually saying is they're talking about Mandarin. And Cantonese is a is a is the language that's spoken in southern China and in Hong Kong. But most people, Chinese speakers, if you say Chinese, we're talking about Mandarin. Okay, so what what like? Okay, so you're feeling pretty good, right?、Um, but now is when it's going to get difficult. So in, do your best to interpret for him, because he we want to convey some information to the class. Okay. 嗯、um, ，台湾呃，地震灾灾难
灾难。Where? No, no. 灾难。Oh, 地地震，地震。嗯、um, ，Southern. 天气，天气不好。The weather's bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. We could say that. Um, <laughs> 很很多人死掉。Oh, the earthquake! Yes, yes. Oh, you. Oh, uh, you know, you know. 对地震， okay. 地震。Um, Taiwan had an earthquake. 然后二十五年来最大。台湾有个地震。Taiwan had an earthquake. 对啊，二十五年最大的。二十五年，二十五。二十五年。二十五年。二十五年。二十五。Like 今年。Fifty. Fifty years ago. 二二二十五。Oh, twenty-five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 二十五年。Twenty-five years ago. 最大的。That was bigger. That was the the biggest earthquake yeah, yeah, yeah. ever. Twenty five years ago. Yeah. Um. Many people died. Many people died. Many people were hurt, injured. Uh. Yeah. Uh. We're lost. Yeah. We're yeah. we're uh missing. Yeah. Then. 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 Oh, many people around the world help Taiwan. Yeah, I want to help Taiwan. Yes, yes. He wants to help Taiwan. Recover. Make money. Yes. He wants to help Taiwan. Okay, he wants to help Taiwan raise money. To deal with the earthquake. 对对对对。Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. That's great. 我我们在宾州，宾州。呃 ，here at Penn State we 呃有个有个面包，卖卖点心。卖。卖卖。卖 ，we can buy。卖卖卖卖。Oh, sell. We can sell. Yes, yes, yes. 卖点心。点心，点心。台湾的点心，食物。食物。食物。食物。食物。食物，食物，点心，吃的。We can buy things to eat. 我们卖。Oh, we can sell things to eat to yes. make money. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yes. Dude. You're getting it. Dude. Oh, so I hope you guys. Then Monday. We hope. I uh, hope that on Monday. No, in the hub. In the hub. Yeah. 卖点心。You you buy things. Yeah. 卖卖卖。You sell things. Sorry. 然后帮台湾。To help Taiwan. Yeah. Did, did you get the whole picture? I, I think I did. So okay. Taiwan had an earthquake, um, and but 25 years ago there was the biggest one. It rivals that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, and to help, oh, I, see one. Oh, I, see I one. hope yeah. that um, to help Taiwan, I want he wants to help Taiwan by selling food items at the hub, and he hopes that on Monday you come to buy some to assist in raising money for the earthquake relief efforts. Yeah. Dude. Oh, that, that's. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome, man. Huh? Yeah, and okay, so it's perfect that you are the incoming UPUA student body president because this is a student group. So this is your job is to support one of your many jobs besides to take complaints from students is to support various student groups and all the causes that you're doing. So these are some of the these are some things like, that you will sell. Some um, samples here. This is a pineapple cake, and this is for you. Yeah, you could do. try it. Why don't you try it, it and yeah. let us n let the class know like how awesome it is? I actually love pineapple cakes. I, they give them out in Chinese class sometimes, so I will eat this gladly. All right, all right, man. I also have something there that you probably have never tried, but it's like a salted egg yolk puff pastry. Yo, these are yeah. these are Taiwanese pastries. They are Taiwanese pastries. Bro, Wesley. Can you, can you get a shot of that? Can you put this up on the big screen? Wait, hang on. I'll go to green. Never mind, man. I'll just go to green. Yo, ma. Whoa, yo, these are really good. Hey, can people, can people yeah. try them? Yeah, yeah, of course, yo, of course. Who, Oh wait, no, <laughs> oh man, no, it's got to be someone in the back, like, dude, yeah, all right, you're you're really rocking. Can some bro? Can you? No, you can't try them. No, 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 the two women right there who are really rocking it, and then somebody else. But at the top, man. The pineapple cake is really good, by the way. You guys should go buy them on Monday in the hub. 
And maybe you'll come back to Switch 119 and do it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, man. G Wait, G Dog, do you have one? Wait, did you just give one to them? All right, go ahead. Yeah. You'd be like, all right. So listen, um, let me ask you this question. Yo, you have to tell the, the class how good they are. <laughs> so I have a question for you guys. Um, actually, I don't. I think we're good. Are we good? All right. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Awesome. It. Hey, can we have a hand for Zion and Oscar? <laughs> Wait, do you want to give these out, dude? We really should sell these just as a way to raise money, but we're going to come back. Okay. Why don't, yeah, you can. Yeah? After, you know, after class, Oscar has these cakes here. So can we go with um, Kennedy and Ryan? Can you, two of you come up? You guys are just going to hang for a hot minute. You're good. Just, just remember the, fu the fun the fun happens later. All right. Hey, so can you introduce yourselves? Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm Ryan. Uh, I'm from Pittsburgh, PA, uh, and I'm a third year mechanical engineering student. Yeah. Push it up. Oh. Good. Hi. My name's Kennedy. Um, I'm from State College. I'm a freshman studying criminology and addictions and rehabilitation. Criminology. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so what makes speaking a, a, another language in, kind of embarrassing when you don't know it really well? What, 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 can you guys walk us through that a little bit? Like for you, what makes it, what makes it difficult? I'd say it's probably saying something like embarrassing that you don't like translate directly. Uh, I feel like they might think it's funny, but. And if people think it's funny, then. Uh, I, you just, I don't know. I, I don't like the judgment you would get from it, I guess. Or you Ju might something, say something. So you something feel like, like there's judgment coming? Yeah. What's um, the, okay, go ahead. I was going to say, you might also say something like offensive, like that you didn't know what it actually meant. Yeah, but let's stay with the judgment piece because okay. you're probably not likely to say something offensive, right? What what is Kennedy? Do you do you have a similar thing? Do you feel like that? You can just keep it on. Yeah. So um, I'm learning Spanish. I'm not good at it. I'm in my like I've been doing it since just this past year, and um, also like people will think that I speak Spanish and I don't. It's like I'm Puerto Rican people think that I can just fluently speak it and I can't and so people kind of like expect me to know more than I realistically do so it's kind of just like a level of like confusing if that makes any sense not so much embarrassing as as much just like it's just like I don't know what you're saying you don't know what I'm saying so for you there's an added layer wait for you there's an added layer of your of your ancestry being Puerto Rican. Yeah, so I'm mixed, so I'm not like entirely Puerto Rican. Okay. And I don't, um, not like super connected to that side of my culture, but people will still like assume that I know how to speak it or uh -huh. stuff like that. Or people like will think that I'm Dominican or they'll think that I'm like another um, like culture or race that I'm not. So it's more of just like the assumptions. And do you, more and than do you anything. feel yourself because you don't speak Spanish really well, do you feel, it would be common for you to feel less Puerto Rican, you know, like not be able to really sort of grab that side of your ancestry? Um, kind of, but most Puerto Ricans, like a lot of them speak English or at least like Spanglish. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like I can't communicate. <laughs> yeah, So. yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Um, so bro, I wanna go back to you for a minute. Um, the in, I want to just hit the embarrassment side, right? Like, what makes it difficult? It, I just have this idea that you start learning a language, and then the thing you want, that you would imagine we'd want to do, is 
find someone who speaks that language and just start talking to them, you know, trying out phrases, trying out words, and like, it just, oh, I'm in. Oh, my God, you're learning. Okay, and then go. Have you ever done that? Um, not really. Sometimes, like, I just randomly talk Spanish to my friends and see if anyone catches on, but usually most, most don't. Okay, but. so listen, let's, but you're just learning, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, how about the three of us talk, talk in Spanish, okay? And here's the thing. For me, so you know, uh, I am really comfortable speaking Spanish. When I'm talking to Julie, like Julie says, well, you, you're, when, I, when we're talking, you're basically fluent. And although I'm not, I mean, I trip up and I don't know words, but when I talk Spanish in here in public, like in, in here or in, when I give a lecture or something in Spanish, I get, I, I feel, I shut down and, mm -hmm. and I don't get embarrassed, but something happens to my brain and it starts to shut down. And It's like you forget every word of Spanish that you've ever to, learned. And I'm speaking, meanwhile, <laughs> I'm talking to Julie in my, about class and we're just da 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 da, da back and forth. Mm -hmm. and, and you, and sometimes if people listen to me, they, they wouldn't, not, they wouldn't even, for certain know that I, I'm not pretty fluent in Spanish. Mm -hmm. But I don't have that in here. And so I'm, I'm wondering, huh, like I never get nervous. But like r right now, we're gonna start talking in Spanish and I feel a little some kind of way about that, okay? So mira, cu ¿cuántos años has estudiado? Uh, para tres años. Tres años? Tres años. En, la, en la escuela, en escuela secundaria? ¿Dónde? Uh, en la un, el universidad. ¿Ah, sí? Tres. A, aquí en Penn State. Sí. Tres años. Tre ah, sí. muy bien. Entonces, hablas bien. Bien. Más o menos. Más o menos. ¿Y vos? Uh, tengo un año en estudiar en Penn State. ¿Sí? Sí. ¿Y quieres estudiar más en otro lugar o qué? No sé. ¿Quisieras hablar fluido? No. Con, como, como los puertorriqueños? No. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué um, no? Wait, no. dos. Do you understand anything that we're saying? You got it? Okay, ¿por qué no? Go ahead. Like, this is the moment. Listen, Kennedy. Like, am I going to learn something? No, no, no. Yeah, this is the moment. <laughs> Repeat en por favor. <laughs> okay, muy bien. <laughs> this is the moment where people who are learning Spanish stop. You, you hit a wall, okay? And when you hit the wall, you feel that sense of, like, of maybe a, a shame, embarrassment, I should know, I don't know, and then you feel, what's the, embar like, what's the feeling? It's just like, I don't know what you said. <laughs> okay, and? Trying to decipher what you said. Okay, okay. That's all. <laughs> and you, okay, it's okay, right? Yeah. Mira, eh, tú quisieras hablar Fluido, el español. Do I want to be fluent? Sí. Uh, más o menos, es difícil. Sí? Sí, es difícil. Um, like, es... Yeah. No, que sí, continuas. Um, no, no, hay, no ayuda, nada. Es para ella. <laughs> ella. Solamente en, <laughs> solamente en, en español. Um, so, like, so what I'm doing right here is I'm putting her on the spot in front of all of you. She's only been learning one year. She's doing, dude, you're doing really well. Gracias. Sí, muy bien. Estás hablando muy bien. But this is, it is these feelings of awkwardness. By the way, no hay una, no hay, no hay una palabra en español para awkward. No hay, no existe. He, he tratado de como descubrir o algo, investigar este, este asunto y no hay una palabra. Sí. Ok, pero es awkward. Sí. Yeah. ¿Por qué? Um, porque yo... Um, yo soy no sabo kid. ¿Cómo? No sabo kid. Yeah. It's like, it's awkward growing up like, I don't know what y'all are saying. Yeah. Like, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, okay. But now this is it, right? And yeah. Entonces, mira, eh, y tú, y, ¿quién es, 
¿Puedo decir quién? ¿Tu mamá o tu papá? Tu papá. Er, mi papá. ¿Ah, sí? ¿Y sí. él habla español? No. ¿Ah, sí? ¿Él no habla tampoco? No español. ¿Ah, sí? ¿Él quiere hablar? No sé. ¿Ah, sí? Ah, muy bien. Oh. Ok. Ah. ¿Y tú quisieras hablar más fluido? Uh, espero que yo... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice could en español? Que podría, 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 podría. Uh, hablar fluido. ¿Así? Sí. sí es, ¿Y es posible? Es, es posible. Yeah. Muy, muy práctica. ¿Tienes ganas de viajar por algún lugar para estudiar por un largo tiempo? Sí. Uh, espero, espero que uh, via, viajo a uh, el mundo un día. Yeah. Viajaré. Viajaré, viajaré. Yeah, yeah está sí. bien. ¿Entiendes? Viajaré. To go, like to travel. At the, like viajar. I, I, the futuro. I like will travel. I will travel in the future, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's a really fascinating, okay, it's good. So, how, it, ¿cómo está para, para tú? Para, para ti, para uh, hablando aquí. Para tú, para ti, siempre, para mí es algo... Mm. Ap he aprendido si es tú o es ti cientos de veces y siempre estoy ahorita Julie está diciendo eso pobrecito ¿cómo está para vos pa hablando aquí? Uh, yo no sé qué dices ¿cómo está? ¿cómo, cómo, cómo te sientes? ¿cómo está Sentando aquí, hablando en español y oh. todo. Oh. Ah, más o menos. Uh, un, un poco ner nervioso. Sí. Pero uh, un poco difícil. Ya, yeah, pero estás bien. Estás. Mira, lo que, lo que pasa es que, look, what matters is that you, we stop learning languages, right? We have this way of, of uh, we, we teach these languages in our world. And you're, so many of you take language. You take language in high school, then you take some language in college, and we have these awesome opportunities to engage with others and ultimately to talk to others, like to really talk, because speaking is the most important doorway into a culture. So we have these opportunities. And, like, and it's so strange that getting past the awkwardness. Maybe it's because we learn, how about this as a hypothesis? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because we start teaching language at an age, at the wrong age, right? So, you, yeah. you either start when people are really, really young or when they're in college and they have a more of a sense of mm -hmm. self, but when it's in high school and it's a time when people tease each other and then we start to feel self-conscious and ashamed and all these kinds of things and then we just say like, oh God, no, you know. I also think, um, I hate whenever after a conversation I have in Spanish, I remember like what the person actually says, yeah. like, because I, I got what you said earlier, you were asking, when did I study Spanish? And it was in high school, uh -huh. but I thought you meant like, do you talk like here in Spanish? Uh-huh, so. but, but it's great, but you're like, you, you're communicating, you're yeah. communicating, like, you get it, I mean, you, you, you see how it happens. Yeah. I also didn't start learning Spanish until I was 18 years old, and it's like most people, um, especially when you like are Hispanic or Latino, it's like you learn that as a second language or even as a first language when you're very young. And um, like people like me who didn't learn that for various reasons, mm -hmm. it's like you reach a certain age and it's like I'm 18 years old, the language learning part of my brain's kind of done. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then it's it like makes you, it harder. Yeah, and I'm also in the, um, I'm in like intensive Spanish, uh -huh. which is like to get all the credits out of the way as soon as possible. Yeah. So it's like, I'm taking in all this Spanish and yeah. like 2% of it's computing, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. just, oh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's kind of unfortunate in a way, right? Yeah. Because it, what it means is we, we're sort of living with these kinds of walls between us that we don't need to have. And, and for me, and you know, very much what this class, yo, you know, one thing that this class is about is about breaking down those walls. Mm -hmm. And wanting, I'm wanting people 
to connect in community. Like Zion, for example. Like uh, now that Ch various Mandarin speakers know that he's, dude, the student, the, 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 the student body representative of Penn State is learning Mandarin. And like what that means for students from China and Taiwan, right? What it means for them is like they came here to Penn State on the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. Too often, Chinese students, and Taiwanese less so because there are so many fewer of you, but Chinese students, they stay in these kind of bubbles. Yeah. And they speak with other Chinese students. And they don't really engage outside of their Chinese communities. Mm -hmm. But look what it means that the student body represents the president, right? Mm -hmm. is speaking Mandarin. So, you know, you're going to get invited to the Chinese student organization to come and you're going to speak in, in Mandarin. Like, you're going to do that because they know now, right? And how important that is to build these lines of communication with one another. And so for you, I think for me, when I really learned Spanish and when I started traveling around the world, like, I just, speaking Spanish, different places, mm -hmm. it just opened my whole reality up. It changed everything for me. At one time, I was like you. <laughs> and in another time, I was like you. And now I'm just giving headaches to Julie who, because I'm making the same mistakes over and over again. So, yeah. so it's cool. Yeah. Awesome, man. ¿Hay algo más que quieren decir? I asked. Do you know what I asked? Do you know what I asked? Dude. Dude see that? Hang on. What, what did I ask? If you had anything else to say. And so you, you're you learning Spanish? or you I'm learning? actually in Kennedy's class. Oh, you're in Kennedy's class? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> so you're doing the same thing? Yeah. ¿Y cómo está tu español? <laughs> Repite. ¿Cómo está tu español? Um, así, así. ¿Así, así? Yeah. Ah, muy bien. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué, está de, qué es así, así? It's like, it's fine. Okay, so, so. Okay, mm -hmm. muy bien. ¿Y qui tú quisieras hablar muy bien? Okay. Um, sí. ¿Puedes imaginar que algún día estás hablando más fluido? No sé. Sí. No comprendo. <laughs> no, no, no comprendes. Yeah. Imaginas, ¿entiendes? Imaginas. Imaginar. Tú puedes ver el futuro ver oh, to visit in the future tú or? puedes ver a tu futuro y algún día y así estás bien no el futuro <laughs> ver ver see in the future a, yeah a tu futuro el futuro tuyo que tú ¿cómo te llamas? Cassidy Cassidy yeah un, un Cassidy hablando muy bien en castellano en español hopefully Ah, muy bien, dude. <laughs> okay, awesome, man. Yo. Dude, that's in is that cool, right? Yeah. yeah? How was that? Bien. Muy bien, okay. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Wait, that hang on. That was awful. Hang on, hang You're on. You're so bad Ready? at this. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Oops. can we get like a nice round of applause? Okay, peeps, are we ready? Yeah. All right, man. We have, wait, I, why don't we do, we should do it up here so we Ooh, get really on the camera. This table is kind of okay, you guys, we just need your two chairs up here. Uh, no, you can, yeah, no, here, we'll hold on. Bro, all right, here we go. All right, so wait. Which one's Team China? This guy? China right here. Team China and Team Korea. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're gonna have a con. Wait, hey, you gotta put the you gotta put the chopsticks down though. Uh, this ma this makes it harder. Yeah. It takes a while to like, get the grip. Down. Nah, that's the whole thing. Okay. So uh, wait, can you give him give him the push it up? Yeah. So are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. He taught me well, so. Yeah? Dude, whichever one of you loses, 
your your guy's gonna have to do something, right? So you're the pressure's yeah. on. I got you. Yeah. How about you? Um, it's a little bit of trial and error. <laughs> yeah. Process, but I got it. Hey, what do you think about chopsticks? Like these ones are just a lot more slippier. I feel like than the wooden ones, yeah. so it's hard to get like a grip. Uh -huh. Yeah, I definitely see what you mean. How like these are like the harder kind of chopsticks. Uh huh. Yeah, because they're they're stainless steel, so you can clean them really easy. And you know. yeah. So, do you ever? Can you imagine eating with chopsticks all the time? Like, what, you, tell me what you think the benefit of chopsticks are. Um, I feel like yeah, it's whatever you're used to. I guess like the benefit is like the more you do it, the better uh, at it you get. Uh -huh. So if you do it every day for like a week, then I feel like that's when I'd start to like pick up on it and get to like really get good at it. Uh huh. Oh. I feel like it's like easier with certain foods and like it's a lot more hygienic in a way than the fork because I feel like the fork destroys everything while uh -huh. this can keep it in like solid as a whole like sushi it'd mm. be easier yeah 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 can I ask you Virgil what do you what are the advantages of of chopsticks for you I think I think it's just easier to have rice with it Do how is it easier to have rice you have a this there's this thing it's called a spoon Right? And you take the spoon and you put it in the rice. And yeah. you have a big, huge clump of as big as you, as large as you want. And you put it in your mouth. But you, if you have the spoon, you have to wash two things. Right? Yeah. If you, if you, like, if you have, a, have spoons and, like, forks and knives, you have to wash three things. But you okay. have chopsticks, you only what you want. You got one. Because yeah. you use this as a knife. This can be a knife also. Yeah, yeah, also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Kyung, well, how about you? Like, what's the advantage of chopsticks? Um, it's easier to pick up small things. Pick up small things. Yeah. How is it easier than a spoon, man? A spoon is uh, you. Any t I, I can pick up anything with a spoon. Um. But like, you can have more control. Hold it. Hold the mic close. Okay. Um. So like in Korea, like we eat foods with rice yeah and so we have to put things on the rice uh -huh. so it's easier when we eat like that uh-huh but i don't know like the american way like spoon is easier spoon and, and fork yeah do you get when you're here when you are eating first off did you did the two of you learn also to eat when you were young did you learn to eat with a fork also yeah 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 so you learn chopsticks and forks yeah yeah and spoons and knives. Yeah. And so in addition, so chopstick is, is, is to you like a fourth weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, listen, honestly, I find chopsticks to be really, e I mean, I now I find them to be really easy. And, and I'm having fun with you about the spoon, but it, there is something in it. Bro, do you have anything to add to that? Like why chopstick? You, the, the okay. Korean American so guy. So let me, let, me, let me just say something. If y'all don't have any silverware, right, and you got a two-piece of wooden uh, w stick or you got a two-piece of pencil, let's just say, just pick out the pencil and eat the noodles with it. You can actually do it as long as you know how to use chopsticks. It's so versatile. Second thing, you, could, when you, you can literally do an entire surgical operation on a fish that you cannot do with any other silverware with, with chopsticks. And thirdly, you could use it as a fork. You just have to stab it with a stick. You know, it's like, it, it's so Wait, can, versatile. Bro, can we go back to the fish thing? Like, what are, what, like, what are, you got to explain that, my friend. Okay, so in a lot of Asian dish in, uh, and uh, Latinos dishes too, we have just steamed, you know, cooked, you know, with oil on the, a fish, just yeah. straight up fish that has bone inside all intact. And what we use chopsticks with is we, pick out the bones inside within yeah, and then yeah. we also uh, segregate the skins off of the bones and the muscles and like other yeah. accessories that is you know intact within the fish so yeah you're literally doing surgery on the fish so for food okay all right i got you so this is what like in china you have those chopsticks often they're really sharp they're really pointed yeah. are those japanese ch japanese are the most pointed right yeah i think that's more like japanese style japanese style yeah, really pointed right yeah so Okay, so listen, here we go, my friends. Uh, no, don't pick them up. Uh, you got to move your, your, can we, hey, can you get, 
can you put um, Wesley on the big screen? All right. Niche. Okay, there we go. Okay, you got to move them from one plate to the other as fast as you can. Ready? It's team China, Team Korea. All right, this is this is a geopolitical issue right here. So, all right, bro, you got like 1.3 billion people who are rooting for you. Okay, you've only got 51 million, so it's not such a big deal. Are right, you ready? Go. Come on, you got it. Oh, okay, here we go. I was doing so good. No, you can't use two hands on him, my friend. Start over, start over. Like, get yourself, get yourself. No, you got it. No, you can't use two hands. You got it. You got it. Whoa, Team Korea is killing it. Whoa, hang on. You got to wear the BTS hat. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, bro, you need the BTS hat. That'll help you out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> BTS is behind you all the way, man. I can hear him singing. I don't know what that is. BTS. Uh, <laughs> Koreans don't he doesn't know who BTS is but we're gonna we're we're gonna just let that go we'll pretend he didn't say that all right here we go come on man come on you got it <laughs> hold that hold no 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 you can't you can't hang on, I'm taking the hat off now you can't do that it's one hand come on Mackenzie you got this you got this you see in time you got see it's the okay don't what do you want to do Mackenzie you want to by the way can I bro your your guys getting destroyed over here you know what I mean well no dude you're, can, you're using two hands no I think so I was cooking for her. and by the way one's still on the table so you have to get that over there Mackenzie <laughs> <laughs> there we go dude. There you are. Awesome. Uh, BT, you got it. Okay, so now, uh, here comes, bro. Can you pull, you got, can you pull another, this isn't going to be a problem for you, what we're about to do now. Can you pull another chair over? Um, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> you guys are going to use chopsticks now to eat a, a Korean delicacy, okay? And so the delicacy, can you explain it to the? No. So uh, do you guys know silk? Do you guys know how silks, silks are made? Oh. Do y'all know how sil silks are made? Uh, we eat those. That's basically it. That's it's the gist the, of it. It's the larva. Yeah, it's the larva that produces the silk, essentially. The larva of the worm. So yeah. we leave no waste. We eat them all. It's good. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> You're going to eat them too. Remember I asked you the question? No, the losers are eating something else. Yeah, the losers. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go get my water bottle. No, you don't need water bottles. Are right, you ready? Can we just show the class... Can you put this up? This right here. No, here, bro. Bro. No, bro, bring it over here. No, bring it over there. You'll get a better shot of it. Dude, it looks appetizing, doesn't it? better than it looks. I, tr I promise. All right. Yeah, you're going to eat out of the can. It's more fun that way. All right. So each of you, just the two of you, grab your chopsticks. You're ready to rock. This one? You're going to eat. You, you got it. No, you have to eat. Same pot. Same pot, yeah. What? Yeah, yellow. Okay, you ready? Now you got it. Alright, 
How about it? It's, it's not bad, right? No. Try the second one. The second one's always better. No, no, no bro. No, no, the first one is always a little bit. Am I right, bro? You eat these, right? He's Wait. Plastic. Wait. D dude, do you not? Tastes like how she throws smell. Do you not eat bondigi? No. You don't? No. No, no, no. He's from Seoul. Uh, I, I used to, but... You used to? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it smells a little bit, right? Hang on. Mmm, dude. Okay, go ahead. Have one more. The second... Um, it's not as bad as it looks. Like, I see what you mean. However, like, it's not something I would go out of my way to eat. Um, it wasn't, like, bad, though. Like, it definitely smells, like, worse than it tastes. Like, it was, like, definitely, like, edible, I'd say. So let me ask you, though. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you this. What, what is it about foods, though? Um, I, I f what, what is it about foods like this that's, like, say, disgusting or that whatever? Um, I love foods from, like, different cultures. Um, whenever I, I go, like, out to eat with my mom, like, we go on a little, like, mom Sunday. It's, like, we always love to try, uh, like, food from different cultures. Like, any type of, like, Chinese food, um, any type of, like, sushi, Japanese, like, any type of, like, Italian, Mexican so food, like, I love. if this was on the menu, would you say, oh, I gotta eat the larvae? Because this is the larvae of I, silkworms. I would probably, if I, like, heard that description, um, I would probably, like, steer clear. Just, like, the term larvae, like, I don't know, it doesn't sound exactly the most appetizing. Um, why, wait, I'm sure why not? Just, like, larvae, like, larvae, like, worms, like, are sort of, like, associated, like, I don't know. Um, no, no, wait, here, I want to stay with that, right? Yeah. Here. So, hang on. By the way, first off, you need to know, they agreed ahead of time that no matter, that they were going to learn to use chopsticks, and no matter what, what, I was going to give them something that was safe to eat, and they were going, they agreed that they would eat it. Definitely. You both said, definitely I will eat it. I trust yeah. you, Sam. Yeah, so they're not, they, they weren't pressured into eating these, right? So, but even larvae, right, like, what's the problem? Like, we eat all sorts of crazy things. We look, look, we eat meat, we eat other animals. Like you see a chicken running along the grass and we get the chicken, we pluck its feathers, we put it, we cook it somehow and we eat it. It's a live bean. Like so the larvae, what's the difference between the larvae of a worm and a chicken? Just out of curiosity. I feel like it's like whatever you're uh, used to. So like I eat chicken like just about like every day or at least like a lot more frequently. Like if this was like was like my cultural norm, like I'd be like, yeah, like it's great. But um, yeah, I guess it's like whatever you're used to and comfortable with. Uh huh. I think it's just like kind of a texture. It, it's like a different texture. It's like a little bit crunchy. I wish it was like crispy or something or it had like s different seasoning. That was just like if it was like fried and then like had seasoning on it, I think I'd like order it on a menu. Mm hmm. Oh, really? I've eaten escargot, frog legs, shark. Okay, fried. I can eat a lot of stuff. Can you, can you put this up? I want to put... Okay, sorry, you do it. Bro, can you bring over our next delicacy? Is it fried yep. crickets? It's fried. These are colones hormigas. Crickets? No, ants. Oh. oh Big-ass ants. They're seasoned or unseasoned? It's seasoned. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Culonas. I've eaten an alligator Culonas. before, so it is, it is. can't be worse than that. Okay. You can, can you see the little... Oh. You can still see the, the feelers on them. I'm going to see like You guys can see that, right? Yes. Yeah, the, see, these are the legs and stuff, right? No, but they're really good. The legs are the best part. Okay, you ready? Yeah, you can go now. Tell the class how they are. You guys are going to try them, too. No, you don't need water, bro. You're going to ruin the taste. Go ahead. All right, ready? Three, two, one. How about it? You guys ready? Can you want, you want, you got to try one, bro. You, you can just use your fingers. Ants. You want to try it? Uh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. You can use your ants or your hands. You don't need a. Yeah, go for it. They're not bad. Yeah. 
You got it? Bro, did you try one? This is kimchi. Have you had kimchi? The next one we're going to try is kimchi. Look, can you, put the ne- can you put that next slide up? So here's the thing about food that I find kind of interesting. So here's, can you, so here's a cow, right? It's a nice cow. So we drink, we humans, we drink the milk of another mammal. So go to the next slide. That's the udder of the cow. So when next time you drink milk or ice cream, do you drink, do you drink milk? Yeah, okay, you have milk? You have milk? Ice cream? Okay, so next time that you have milk, what you want to do is imagine that you get down on the ground and you're, you know, like, get under that udder and get a, get really grab it hard and just spray the milk right in your mouth. No, because, because that's what you're doing. I mean, no, I mean, what happens is that's, what, that's what's going on here. Like, what's really going on is, like, you think it goes, it happens in this industrial process, and then it goes here, and it goes there, and it comes in this container, and you think, oh, that's just this white liquid that I drink, and I've been drinking since I was a kid. That white liquid is you getting down on your knees, grabbing that udder, and going like, boom, and putting it right in your mouth. <laughs> so, so, so here we have we have these things called ants that in another culture says, hey, these are fried ants. Well, you see the legs, you got the head, you got everything, and you eat them. Bro, you want to try one, by the way? Yeah, they're good. Did you try one? I mean, I already, I already loved it. But yeah? Hey, okay, try the kimchi now. Kimchi is, kimchi is the ne- really one of the, the, it's fermented cabbage, Radish. I mean, a lot. You know, J- Japan and China. It seems a lot more my speed here. Yeah. Well, it's its own. It's it's fermented, and with and with using salt, it's really good for your gut. This is like the the sort of signature dish, signature food, I would say, of Korea. And it's re. Would you you have kimchi at almost every meal, right? Yeah? yeah, and w- tell me, like, wh- what do you think people need to know about kimchi? Um, like, there are a lot of versions of kimchi. Mm-hmm. Um, and some people actually make kimchi with everything. Yeah, with every everything. You yeah. can make it with almost anything. Yeah. Any vegetable, any whatever. And but it really creates beneficial like microorganisms for the gut to help you digest food and move forward. What do you think? I thought that was great, uh, especially after eating ants. Like I really eating enjoyed ants that. And worm, yeah, um, it was a little bit spicy. I tend to like spicy things. It was a little bit like actually over my spice level, but I still thought it was solid. Like that's something I would eat voluntarily. Yeah, dude, awesome man. How about have you had kimchi before? I've had it before for like with Korean dishes, and I know many people who are Korean or they just eat that, and I like anything that's like that spicy and like pickled. Uh huh. But it's good, right? You can imagine yeah. like really using that. I would I definitely mean, eat with like a poke bowl or like with oh rice yeah. for sure. Yeah, totally. Now, kimchi is just an essential dish. It's very much part of the, of uh, central to Korean culture. Yeah, well, do we have a what? We have a fridge dedicated for kimchi. Yeah, the, a fridge dedicated just for kimchi. Uh, hey, listen, man. Um, anything else you want? Can you, can you, we want to have one more? Worm larvae? No. I would have one more of that, but not one more of that. that. Do you guys want a worm? Did you have a worm larvae? I have that before. Yeah? You've had it? Any, anybody want to try the worm larvae? Anyone want to try it? Someone? I'm Wait, I'm bro, for in the blue shirt. I'm for you. Come here, mom. <laughs> here, wait, come over. Yeah. Dude, hang on. How? Here, turn it. It's How pretty, it? I, it's like not bad. I don't know. I mean, my mom's like a nutritionist, so I've eaten a lot of stuff. Yeah? I like trying everything. What's it taste like? Like, what's the closest thing that it, that it comes to? Peas. Peas? Yeah. Peas. 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 Yeah. Peas
peas? Yeah, like spicy Dude, peas. It's pe Look spicy peas. Yeah. What's the problem here? Yeah. You know, yeah. oh. Try one more and like really give it to exactly. yourself. All right. I yeah, like peas. You want to try I an ant? A big ass ant? Sure. Why not? All right, dude. You know, when I was younger, I like saw the street videos of the insects and stuff, and yeah. I was like, I'd never do that. But now, All right, like, All right, totally here we down go. for it. All right. It's like a uh, chickpea, like a crunchy chickpea. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good. It's just a matter of what you yeah. grow up on. Have one more. It'll Another give you one. like the second one's uh, the best. Solid. It's good. Yeah. Dude, awesome. Thanks, man. Thank What's you. your name, bro? Charlie. Charlie? You want yeah, me to see. deliver it to anyone else? No, nah, I think if anyone wants to try one, G Dog will come around and give you a, a lot of. Hey, um, any final. You know, what do you think about what I said about milk? What about Like milk. Can you imagine yourself next time you drink milk? you know, it, underneath a cow. It's definitely weird to think about. Like, after you did that whole demonstration, like, I was like, whoa, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, like, my thoughts. But do you, do, isn't it kind of strange? Wait, hang on. I, I have a question for, for Jimmy that's yeah. really for the class. Hey, chill out. Yo, yo, yo. Listen, I have a question for Jimmy for the class, really. Can you... So we're the only, as far as I know, we're the only mammal, and for Mackenzie, both of you, we're the only mammal that drinks the milk of another mammal, okay? So, as far as I know, so, well, I mean, a dog might be fed, puppies might be fed by a goat or something. I've, I, there are examples of this, you know, like a, a mother dog will feed, okay, right? But what if you, like, why not drink the milk of a, a of a dog. Why not drink the milk of a dog? Uh, I think it comes down to two things. Like, one, what we're used to. Um, and also, I guess, like, there's got to be some sort of, like, science behind it. Like, maybe it's more, like, ethical and, like, healthy and, like, tastes better. I mean, I'm not, like, a scientist or nutritionist, so I don't have an answer to that. But um, the thing I do have an answer to, like, I guess it's, like, what you're used to and, like, what the societal yeah. norms are. Okay. I feel like it also comes with, like, supply of certain milk. So, like, we drink goat milk, but I think goat milk is a lot more of, there comes in lesser supply yep. and there's more of a rarity to it. Do dogs probably don't produce that much milk. Well, cows produce yeah. a lot more than yeah. to volume. Whales, whales. We could have whale milk. Too hard. Squirrel. Too hard to ideally get it. Squirrel milk. You could just go on and on, dude. There, are, it's also the ways of obtaining it. It's a lot harder. Yeah, yeah. It would be hard to get milk out of a squirrel. Yeah. But listen, you know, these are one of the things. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on. You, that guy's, that, that dude's really going after it, man. Dude. How, bro, how is that? We just ate it. You good? Thumbs up? Two thumbs up? Dude, all right. I think that, here's the thing, right? Are there, did anybody grow up on a cow farm, by the way? Have cows? Because my sister had a cow farm, and bro, when me, my nephew and I, like, we would be out with milk and the cows, and we all do all sorts of things. Like when I got down there like that, we, as kids, we used to do that. Like it was fun, try to shoot the milk in each other's mouths and stuff. Did you do that? Dude, hang on, hold on. Can, bro, Wesley, can you, can you put, can you put Wesley on, on the screen? This is the last thing and then we'll go. Like I really want you to normalize yeah. this, like what I'm saying. What, yo. Okay, first off, what's your name? Is this Juan? What is it? My name's Wyatt. Wyatt? Yeah. So you grew up on a farm? Yeah. How many cows? Like Wait, 200. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Listen, listen to Wyatt here. We're a Holstein dairy farm. Yeah. 200 cows outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Stony lawn farms. So when I said the thing about me, and like when I was a kid and being on the farm and we go out to milk the cows and... Yeah. And they only, we, my sister only had a few cows, so it wasn't a big milk. She later has a big, she has had a big milking operation, but at this point in time, 
And, you know, we'd always be, like, squirting the milk at each other, and then we'd get down under there, and we'd squirt at each other. Just yeah, I just told him I, I used to do that when you were saying that example. It's not that weird. So when I did that demonstration, that wasn't weird for you? No, nah, it's relatable. Yeah? Yeah. And it, and it would be relatable to any... It's like the healthiest form of milk you can drink. Wait, wait, okay, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is actually... Wait. Hang on, this is actually the teaching for the day, okay? Hang on, Wyatt's going to give yeah, it to us. I, listen, Wyatt. The thing about this class is that if you have the experience, like of eating ants or crickets or any other things that people eat, yeah. it's just it's Dude, awesome, man. All right, thanks, bro. All right, hey, can you put it up? Put up the last quiz. Hey, can we have a, a round of applause for our... Uh